So they finally made an right. announcement and said, no problem. No problem. People who are refinancing and switching banks will now be allowed to uh, avoid the stress test. Avoid the stress test, which is such a beautiful thing. Let's it's... talk about the stress test, right? I mean, How we were good all, is that? we've yeah. been all talking about the stress test being uh, no longer necessary because when the stress test was implemented back in 2017, interest rates were a lot lower than they are right now. Considerably, and, yeah. And that they were trying to prevent uh, borrowers from taking on too much um, debt that they can't service later on when interest rates did go up. Sure. Now, they used that stress test and it failed miserably. Everyone took on way too much debt anyways. It didn't matter what the heck the stress test was at. Well, but imagine day, if we didn't have it, because it, it did deter a lot of people. Sure, sure. But it still put a bunch of people in trouble. So it wasn't it wasn't 100 percent effective. No. Right. Then interest rates came down and we were like, hey, you know, why do we still need this stress test? And we were like, what about the people who are just trying to renew their mortgage? Can't they access their equity? Can't they just get a little bit of elbow grease on that mortgage and spruce it up a little bit, extend that amortization? Let them pay a little bit more per month and pull out a little bit more equity so that they can have a little bit more money to be able to go spend at the casino or do that renovation, right? Isn't that fair, Daryl? It doesn't. Does that jack up house prices? Is that what's happening? No, but that's what we were talking about. Huh. When it came to the stress test, we were, we were saying, okay, fine. If we're not going to remove it for borrowers, then we're going to do it for people who are refinancing. So they finally made an right. announcement and said, no problem. No problem. People who are refinancing and switching banks will now be allowed to uh, avoid the stress test. Avoid the stress test, which is such a beautiful thing. I mean, it's not like you're a, you're not avoiding, um, you know, all the scrutiny when you switch banks. When you stay with the same bank, it's basically just a signature and you have a mortgage. It's like pick the best rate, maybe uh, negotiate a little bit and away we go. When you switch banks, you have to you know, give up all your information. You have to uh, have them, you know, just check into all of your real and maybe not so real documents, right? So what's beautiful, though, is that what, what do you have to qualify for 2% less now? Like, Yeah, well, your qualifying rate will be based what? off of either um, prime or, or whatever your uh, discounted rate is. But here's the issue, though, okay? So the issue becomes... Um, how much you can actually pull out because you still have to keep the same amortization schedule. Why? Why do you have to pull out? Right. What if you're just trying to get the same? Aren't you just trying to get the same amount of money you already have? Like you're the same size mortgage. I mean, like if you owe half okay, a million, but, why, but, but, but then why not just stay with the same bank? They're going to renew your mortgage anyways. Well, because now you can go shop it around and get a better rate. That's the whole thing. Okay. Right. But like how much of a better rate are you getting? I don't know, but half a point makes a big fucking difference. But does this really solve anybody's issues overall? What if someone's yeah, in real trouble and they need to pull out a bunch of equity? And they're like, listen, well, they I might know be able to do that, too. I don't know how that I, I signed a 25 year mortgage and now I'm at 20. But I want to go up to a 30, pull up a bunch of equity and to be able to, like, you know, get get myself back on track or, you yeah. know, who knows what it is. Well, let's be so, real. I mean, if they haven't thought of that yet, they'll figure out a way to make that possible and make that right. happen because they have it to qualify like... with the stress test still, you know, still with and the so, stress test. Yeah, you still have to deal with the stress test if you're going to make those changes. So I feel like it's kind of like a, a positive for some people, yeah. just like how those other changes were uh, increasing the CMHC um, maximum insured uh, mortgage amount uh, was. But it's a really small part of the population. A really oh, small part gonna, of the population like, is going to benefit from this. But there's a lot of people that were probably looking at a refinance and they had to qualify with that stupid stress test. And they were like, holy shit, I'm not actually going to qualify for this thing. I'm going to have to sell my house. And so no, a lot the of bank was going to your bank was going to renew with you anyways. I don't know anybody anyway. ever at the end of their term who whose bank did not renew. It was just you're right. They had to take a higher rate. Yeah, higher rate. And so now fucking afford. Now the banks are making it more competitive, which is what it is. This is all just about competition and keeping in the spirit of like, hey, you know what? We don't want to have a monopoly here. We want to make sure that people have options. That's why we have those five banks, right? No, this is this is in order to allow more people to spend more money in the market and to keep the damn thing going, isn't it? Doesn't it just help keep no. the wheels moving? 
It's, it's to prevent people from having to sell. So it's about it's, right. it's there Which to prevent people from having to put their house on the market and fire sell. sales and fucking up the right? pricing. Because in maybe the market. they'll still be able to qualify and the bank will give them the mortgage, but it ends up, you know, I think it helps put a floor on this market. I think it helps yeah. push prices up just like all this. Whoa, other... whoa, Daryl, slow down. Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.